Johnny Goofy, where'd you go? Welcome to the show. And I'm his faith host, it's AK Dad, and here we are with a very exciting episode of the Goofy Weird Trigger. You know he does love his soda, and he was scouring the internet. And he found one the other day called Iron Beer from Cuba. Well, uh, while he was on there, he found another soda, and one of his favorite sodas is pineapple, right? Pineapple beer. He loves pineapple soda. Pineapple soda. Not beer, goofball. I like soda, pineapple soda. So we like, found this like one. Yellow, yellow. Did we find this one? We found this one from Cuba. Japina. It says it's pure pineapple taste. Pineapple soda, naturally and artificially flavored. There are 210 calories wait, in wait. this one can. I remember the soda company that made pineapple soda. Was it Crush? It was Crush makes a pineapple soda, yes. So, we found this one. It just came in yesterday. So, it's... Have it, we Japania. got put in the refrigerator, so we got a big glass of ice here. And what do they call it? Japina. Japina. It's from Cuba. So let's pop this open and Japina. see how this is. Let's listen to the fizzle. Good sound. Wait, good Ooh, quick. Smells pineapple -y. Well, then probably... Let's hope cold. it tastes better than the iron beer from Cuba. It's actually kind of... Orangey coming out looks like. No, oh, it's kind of looking more like a ginger ale. I mean, wait, I think they have the color wise. Of like orange flavor. I'm not sure. Here, we'll, we'll take a look at the ingredients here in a second. All right, so let's let that get cold. We'll set that right there in front of us. So don't kick it with your foot. So let's see the ingredients on this. I really can't read this. Um, water, high fructose corn syrup and or sugar, citric acid, which is a preservative, sodium benzenite, caramel color, natural mm, and artificial flavors. So, and it's caffeine free. I don't know pineapple ice cream. Pineapple ice cream? Would that be ice cream or more of a sorbet? Sorbet. Sorbet. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna see how this tastes. You want the first taste? Yeah. Okay, so we'll give you the first taste. There's a little bit of orange in it. A little bit. It's not bad. It just, you know, let me see here. It smells like butt paste. Butt paste. It smells like, it smells pineapple-y, but it smells more citrusy. It's more of an overall citrus type drink. I mean, it can taste pineapple, but yeah. I wonder if my bro would think of this off camera. You want to try a sip? No. No? He doesn't want to try a sip. He's not a big soda guy. So, what do you think of this one? Mm. It's not bad. Wait, when we're off camera, we'll have my mom try it. We'll have a beautiful camera you try. She's out right now making them nachos. So I love nachos. He loves nachos. So, if you got any good recommendations on nachos, don't forget to send them to us. He would greatly appreciate it. You know, I like this one. I would buy it again. Right? What do you think? Buy it again? Yeah, it's not bad. It's, it'd be a nice change from our, you know, his Inca Cola, my Garana Antarctica, I mean, still. Like, or like, uh, or Pineapple Crush. Pineapple Crush. We're going to have to try all the Crush ones and see what we like better, whether it's this one. Maybe we'll do a pineapple soda taste test one day. And wait, we can do like a Crush. Like, we can do it all Crush. We can do it every, we can do it every Crush video. Mm. You know, it's a little bit smoother than a soda. It's almost like it's more, like there's more syrup in wait, wait, it. We can do a crush every video. Oh, okay. With like the different flavors of crush. We could do that. So what do you think? Where, where does this one rank? It, it's definitely not as good as Inca Cola, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not as good as wait, my... Wait, we'll go I like the charts. My one likes, I really like the Grand Antarctica. You've heard me talk about it endlessly. So you're probably sick of it. But that's my number one soda. His is the Inca Cola. I actually... That one would definitely go off the charts. What, the crush? <laughs> we'll see. So... No, that soda right there. This soda? Yeah, it goes off the charts. No, it's not off the charts really for me. Wait, was it was it that good for you? Because off the charts would put it up there with Inca Cola. It was through the roof. It's, so you like this as much as Inca Cola? I, I like it. It's probably my top 
five out of the ones we tried. <laughs> it's still, it's not as good as Inca Cola, and I really like the Milkus, the Korean soda, way better than this. Um, I would say, God, I'm trying to think of all the ones that we've tried. I put it up the there. Dog. Yes, your dog's over there. I would say put it up there with the Lemune, the Japanese sodas. Yeah. It's about that good. Oh, somebody's calling. They must have heard we're trying this. So, Skittles, do you want a sip? Skittles is sniffing it. Nope. She didn't want to take a taste. So, there you have it. Skittles, she's undecided. We give this both a thumbs up, though, right? Yep. Yep. Big thumbs up from us on Japina. We we'll do like it. Cross flavors. Next um... Time. You know, hey, if you like pineapple soda, give it a try. It's not too bad. And then, like, later today, we're going to do a fireball. Fireball? We're going to do a ramen fireball coming up later here today on the Goofy Wheelchair Guru Show. And, and if you want to taste test crush on the channel, leave a big like. Yeah, hey, if you want us to do an entire crush soda episode... Testing all the different flavors of crushed soda, grape, orange, strawberry, pineapple. I think they even got a peach. Like, yeah. Let us know. Send us, you know, send us in the comments. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. If you're not yet a subscriber, why wouldn't you be? He's awesome. Click the subscribe button. Right? Yeah. All right. So, hey, thanks for tuning in to the Cuban Soda Japina Pineapple episode. And we'll see you in the next one. We'll see you in the next episode, which we, hey, for us it's going to probably be the Asian fire, ramen fireball thing. Kind of scared every time it's he like gets... That's a Japanese thing. Every time he gets, he orders something hot and I suffer from it. So, uh, hey, you want to see me suffer? Still not as bad as when his poor mother, the beautiful camel lady, had to suffer trying the source drum. And when, like... When you did the hot nitrous. Little Nitro. The little world's nitro. hottest gummy bear. I still regret that one. And then you were like wanting to like block out your mouth. You were going to clean your mouth out with milk. Oh boy. I downed a gallon of milk on that one, didn't I? Yeah. Hey, right, but we'll be looking today to see what see else we can time. find. Maybe some hot spicy stuff. What else are we going to look for? More sodas? Yeah, more sodas. Hot and spicy. I think we're going to try and uh, get a bunch more flavors of that Korean soda, the Milkus. Um, i got to admit, I really do like that stuff. It's pretty good. And hopefully we'll do another prank. And maybe another prank. You never know. You know, i got a good one in mind we can try. We'll see here. So. Uh, that big whoopee cushion. Big giant whoopee cushion. We'll see. So, hey. Make sure if you don't want to miss any fun, click that subscribe button. And we will see you next time here on the Goofy Wheelchair Goo Show. Yeah. Bye, everyone.